You know, I'm a boy certified obesity and family medicine doctor, and I have a master's in nutrition and functional medicine, but I've got a confession to make. I didn't even know what priming was until I joined the steak and butter gang. And let me tell you, it rocked my world. Not just because it helped me better support my own patients, but because it completely reframed how I understood what people actually need when they're transitioning into carnivore, especially if they've come from a place of chronic dieting, food fear, or metabolic damage. So first, I want to do a big shout out to the Steak and Butter Gang, a vibrant, supportive community led by Bella and her incredible team. I've had the honor of joining them as a guest doctor every month or so. And the irony is, while I'm supposed to be the expert, I walk away learning just as much, if not more, from them. I'll link to them in the description below. Let's be honest, support matters, especially when you're doing something as bold and outside the box as the carnivore diet. Now this video is called why carnivore isn't working until you do this first. And the this, you guessed it, is priming. Let's unpack what it is, why it works, and the science behind it, and how to do it safely from a doctor's point of view, but also a fellow student of this powerful lifestyle. And hang in there because this may be the missing link you didn't know you needed. So what exactly is priming? It's not just about eating into your stuff for fun. It's a structured phase where you intentionally eat three meals a day, no skipping, eat until you are comfortably full or even a little beyond that, eat high fat nutrient dense carnivore meals and you do this for at least two weeks or often longer. Why would you do that? Because many people come into carnivore already metabolically broken. Years, sometimes decades of calorie restriction, low fat diets, chronic fasting, under eating, over exercising, you name it. Priming is about rebuilding your metabolism and your trust in food. You're not failing on carnivore because you're eating too much. You're failing because you're still eating like a dieter. Let that one sink in. So why do so many people need it? Here's the deal. If you've ever counted every calorie, been on a plant-based diet, feared fat, or lived off low-fat chicken breast and broccoli, your hunger signals are probably confused. Your leptin, which tells your brain I'm full, isn't firing correctly. Your ghrelin, which signals hunger, might be misfiring too. And your thyroid, likely suppressed. Priming is your body's chance to relearn what enough feels like and begin to heal. It isn't about binging, it's about retraining. All right, Dr. Hat fully on now. Let's talk mechanisms. Number one, leptin rebalancing. When you undereat, your leptin drops. Your brain thinks you're in a famine and starts hoarding fat. Priming tells your body, hey, it's safe to burn fat again. Number two, thyroid recovery. Chronic dieting equals low T3. Priming restores metabolic rate by nourishing the thyroid with adequate calories, cholesterol, and nutrients. Number three, cortisol down regulation. Fasting all day spikes cortisol for some. Frequent nourishing meals can bring it back down, reducing belly fat and improving sleep. Number four, mitochondrial reboot. Nutrients like carnitine, B12, and CoQ10 found in red meat restore mitochondrial function, which are your cells fat burning engines. Number five, ghrelin calibration. You stop getting those false hunger spikes because your body's no longer panicking about food. Number six, gut repair. Zero fiber plus nutrient density equals gut lining repair, better absorption, less inflammation. And the best part, your cravings start to disappear. Not from discipline, but from real hormonal healing. I get it, it feels totally backwards. You come to carnivore to lose weight, and now I'm telling you to eat more. Trust me, I've seen this with my patients again and again. They're stuck, frustrated, not losing despite doing everything right. Then they start priming. And guess what? Their energy goes up, their sleep improves, their mood stabilizes, and eventually the weight starts to drop without effort. Priming isn't a step back, it's a launch pad for it. So let me give you some practical tips if you're ready to try priming. Three meals a day, no skipping. Meals should be fatty and satisfying. Think ribeyes, eggs, ground beef with butter. Avoid snacking. Your body needs clear meal signals. No fasting during this time. Let your body feel safe. Drink plenty of electrolyte rich fluids, Redmond, keto chow drops, bone broth. Track how you feel, not just your weight. Your energy, mood, skin, digestion, 
all of it. And yes, the scale may go up temporarily. That's not fat. That's your body refueling glycogen stores, increasing hydration and healing. Be patient. Healing before fat loss is worth it. Of course, priming isn't for everyone. If you're in late stage kidney disease, have uncontrolled diabetes and are not working with a doctor who knows how to wean you off meds or struggle with binge eating disorder, you may want to consult with a doctor first of course, one who understands metabolic health. Also keep in mind that priming is not an excuse to gorge on dairy or processed meat. Stick to whole, clean animal foods. Let me tell you about Sophia, a 49-year-old teacher from the south side of Chicago. She's tried keto, lost 10 pounds, stalled, felt tired, cranky, and stuck. I encouraged her to try priming for just two weeks. She was terrified. You want me to eat more? Fast forward three weeks. Her sleep improved. Her migraines disappeared. Her skin cleared. And a month later, the scale finally moved. But more importantly, she felt alive again. That's the power of priming. So if carnivore isn't working for you, before you give up, ask yourself, have you actually nourished your body first? You can't heal in a deficit. You can't thrive while starving. You can't fix years of metabolic damage by nibbling on low-fat chicken breasts and praying for results. Try priming, rebuild, trust your body again. And if you need support, don't do it alone. Join a group like the Steak and Butter Gang. They're one of the best kept secrets in the carnivore space. And I'm proud to call myself a humble guest in their circle. Like this video, share it with a friend who's stuck, and comment below. Have you tried priming? What was your experience? And don't forget to check the video description for links to the Steak and Butter Gang. And check out this video on the screen, where the black carnivore and I show you how to get started on a carnivore diet. And now that your metabolism is finally listening, maybe it's time for your fat loss journey to begin. I'm Dr. Hampton, and I'll see you in the next video.